a giant ship, faced the worst disaster in maritime history. It was a journey across the Indian Ocean that turned into a nightmare. The MOL Comfort was led by a captain with 19 years of sailing experience. They checked everything was okay with the ship before leaving. The ship was strong enough and could carry even more than it had at that time. In June 2013, the ship was all set to leave Singapore, loaded with more than 4,300 shipping containers. Their plan was to sail west to Saudi Arabia. But they would never get there because the ocean had other plans. The crew knew that the sea would be rough, and they were ready for it. They kept an eye on the weather and changed their path to stay safe. But even with all their planning, what happened next was something they never expected. As the Emol Comfort sailed on, June 17th brought a fierce challenge. The sea turned angry, with powerful winds and giant waves. The ship, strong as it was, started to struggle against nature's might. The waves were so high, as tall as buildings, crashing against the ship and shaking it. The experienced and brave crew did their best to keep the ship steady. They slowed down and changed direction, trying to face the waves head on. This was to make the ride a bit smoother and safer. But the ocean was relentless. Two massive waves, like giant walls of water, slammed into the ship. There was a loud bang, and the ship shook violently. Something was terribly wrong. The front and back of the ship were dipping low, and the middle was bending upwards. This bending put a lot of stress on the ship. The captain, realizing the danger, rushed to check the damage. Below deck, water was pouring in, and alarms were sounding. The situation was getting worse every minute. The ship was in serious trouble, and the crew knew they had to act fast to stay safe. The situation on the MOL Comfort was getting scarier. The ship, now badly damaged, was fighting to stay afloat. The captain and his crew were working hard to save the ship, but things were looking grim. Water was flooding in, and the ship was being tossed around by the huge waves. In the engine room, the chief engineer saw water rushing into a few parts of the ship. Alarms were going off everywhere, warning that the ship was filling up with water. The captain knew they had to slow down even more and try to face the waves better. But as they did this, a new disaster struck. Some of the big containers on the ship fell into the ocean. Realizing the danger they were in, the captain made a tough decision. He sent out a mayday call, an urgent message asking for help from any ships nearby. This was a signal that they were in big trouble and needed rescue. At the same time, the captain told all the crew to get ready to leave the ship. They had practiced for emergencies like this, but now it was for real. The crew of the MOL Comfort was now facing their biggest fear. The ship was badly damaged and staying on it was no longer safe. The captain ordered everyone to abandon ship. This meant getting into a lifeboat in the middle of a wild ocean. It was a scary thought, but it was their only chance. The lifeboat was small and cramped and the sea was still very rough. The crew felt sick from the boat rocking so much. They were cold, wet, and scared. But they had to hold on. Help was on the way. But they had to survive until it arrived. Then, a ship named the Yentian Express heard their mayday call and came to help. It was a tough job to get close to the Mole Comfort because of the huge waves and floating containers. The crew of the Yentian Express threw a cargo net over the side for the Mole Comfort's crew to climb up. It was a risky climb, slippery and dangerous, with the sea raging around them. As they tried to climb up, a giant wave hit them, sweeping some of them back into the sea. It was a terrifying moment. They struggled in the water, trying to avoid the floating containers that could hurt them badly. But the crew of the Yantian Express didn't give up. They threw life buoys to the men in the water, and one by one, they were pulled to safety. By the end of this dramatic rescue, all 26 crew members of the MOL Comfort were safe on the Yantian Express. They were tired, shocked, and grateful to be alive. They had survived a nightmare at sea. After the brave rescue of its crew, the MOL Comfort faced its final moments alone in the raging sea. The crew, now safe on the Yantian Express, watched in shock as their damaged ship came to its final moments. The MOL Comfort was already damaged and couldn't hold on any longer. With a loud, creaking noise, it broke in two. The front and back parts of the ship are now separated, drifted away from each other. This was a rare and tragic sight, a mighty ship splitting apart on the open sea. The Yantian Express, with the rescued crew aboard, moved away from the disaster. 
They couldn't do anything more for the Emol comfort. It was too dangerous to stay close. The crew watched their ship, now in two pieces, getting smaller in the distance as they headed to safety. Meanwhile, the company that owned the Emol Comfort sent out rescue teams. They tried to save what was left of the ship, but the sea was still rough and the task was very hard. The back part of the ship, filled with water, sank deep into the ocean with many containers. The front part was still floating, but it was a race against time and nature to save it. The story of the Mole Comfort ended not just with the ship breaking apart, but with a series of events that marked it as one of the worst shipping disasters in history. The front part of the ship, still afloat, became the focus of a desperate rescue effort. Rescue teams tried to tow it, but the sea was against them. The tow rope broke in the rough waters, and it took a whole day to fix it. As they slowly towed the front part, another disaster struck. A fire broke out, making the situation even worse. The Indian Coast Guard came to help, but the fire was too big. Thick, black smoke filled the air. And eventually, the front part of the MOL Comfort sank into the ocean, taking with it thousands of containers and a lot of fuel. This tragic end brought huge losses. Insurance claims reached hundreds of millions of dollars. But more than the money, it was a big shock for the shipping world. The MOL Comfort was a young, strong ship, and it had followed all the safety rules. Yet, it couldn't survive the sea's fury.